Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video and today we're taking a closer look at the brand new Huawei Watch GT3 Pro. So guys, here it is, the GT3 Pro, and hands down, the GT2 Pro was one of the best smartwatches released ever. So Huawei was one of the first that really made a smartwatch that you can use all day long, 14 days of battery life, with reliable GPS, a nice looking screen, and a beautiful design. But the GT3 Pro really takes it to the next level. So let's have a closer look, let's see what's inside of the box, and let's check out the features. Well guys, there we go, here's the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro in the Titanium Edition, powered by Harmony OS, so this is running Harmony OS and it feels really smooth. So well, um, as you can see, light titanium case, light titanium strap, here's the smartwatch, what else is included inside of the box, we have here a charger, the charger is magnetic, so it just attaches to the watch, um, really convenient, then you just plug it into any USB outlet. Nevertheless, um, the watch has wireless charging just with um, the titanium strap. You cannot open it up um, like this, it's always closed. Then it's a bit difficult to place it on the wireless charger, on a, no on a regular one. But if you have a watch charger that goes under it, it's actually perfectly fine. So well, um, then here we have some additional parts for the strap. Now on most um, watches, you actually have to use a tool to get out the pins, it's quite complicated. But on this strap, not. As you can see, there are little pins you just have to use your finger to slide the pin down and then you can already take out the piece. So it's really simple, you can do it on the go without any tools and there are some extra parts included so to fit different wrist sizes. Anyhow, um, there's also a user manual included, that's what you get inside of the box and now let's check out the GT3 Pro. Now let's have a closer look at the watch itself, well the watch looks really premium as you can already see. Now we have here an AMOLED screen, um, definitely one of the best in class on a smartwatch, so this is really bright, it's vivid, the viewing angles are great. Now um, it's a 1.43 inch AMOLED color screen and it comes with a resolution of 466 times 466 pixels. So um, as you can see we have 2.5D glass, now we have sapphire glass um, on the front and on the back, so this is very scratch resistant. Now um, I'm a little bit clumsy so I bumped this smartwatch already two times in, in the door but you can not really see any scratch on it, so I think from the from the materials and the grade of materials used, um, it's actually simply amazing. Um, as always, um, we have this rotating crown with vibration feedback. Now um, it also has a button here, if you press it, then it opens up the menu. Then there's also um, another button down here. This also has an electrode inside for the ECG me measurement. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, it's actually pretty slim, but still features up to 14 days battery life. It comes with an integrated speaker, so you can use that for music, but also for the voice feedback during your, the workouts. We have the Huawei TrueScene 5.0 Plus sensor. So this is now actually the most accurate sensor which Huawei is using in the wearables and um, it is simply amazing. So the tracking works really fast, really good. Um, it supports also SpO2 measurements and in general, um, it's really good. Here we have the strap. It's now to take off the strap, there's a button right over here. So if you press it, it actually will unlock the pins and then you can slide it out and there we go it's actually out so here um, is a closer look at the sensor as you can see um, by the way this is also all sapphire glass um, that means very scratch resistant so you don't need to worry about the metal strap and also um, the watch supports wireless charging so you could also remove that put like this on a wireless charger but if you really use wireless charging a lot i would recommend to use an open strap Anyhow, you can see here the parts of the strap, so if you want to make it longer or shorter, no problem at all. Then also we have here this quick fastener, which is really nice to take it off. So um, in order to close it, just put it together and press, and in order to open it, push those two 
um, parts here and it opens up really smoothly. Now in regards of the material used, um, this is not only also very scratch resistant, um, very resistant against corrosion, it's also very light because this is titanium. So the strap itself is very lightweight, it's not a heavy smartwatch, but still it's a very robust smartwatch with high temperature resistant doesn't corrode that easily so I think over time this is very reliable there's also a ceramic version now this is mostly for women but it looks really great in white so um, if you want to you should check it out it looks absolutely amazing uh, well that's regarding the design and now let's check out the features so well let's have a closer look at the smartwatch and as you can see beautiful looking watch faces so well if you hold and tap you can change the watch faces so we have here some really beautiful watch faces but I actually like the more digital one which fits my lifestyle more if we swipe up we actually have here the notifications notifications work pretty well so um, I have some Facebook notifications here also some app notifications as you can see so this is working pretty good but you need to set it up correctly in the Huawei health application well, um, if we go here through um, all the things, first of all here we have the weather, then also here a quick widget for playing music, you can also check the weather right over here. Um, then let's go to the other side, so here we have um, the heart rate monitoring. So when you uh, wear the smartwatch, you will actually see here a graph um, over your heart rate. The same goes for the SPO2 right over here. Here we have your daily activity, now it's half past midnight, so um, right now it doesn't show anything. Anyhow, um, here once again you have some kind of weather and location widget. You can see here um, the lunar cycle, which is also a pretty cool thing. Here you can see um, your sleep activity. So right now um, I'll show you the data later in the Huawei Health application. And if you press the button, you can actually go back. If you press the button once again, you get to the menu. And as you can see, the menu, you can um, zoom in and out with the crown. And yeah, um, that's really smooth as you can see. So Harmony OS is doing a really good job. If you press the button down there, um, you can actually reconfigure it. For me, um, it goes to the workout mode. So I can just choose here the workout and get directly started with it. If we swipe down from the top, we have your do not disturb mode. I usually activate it when I'm sleeping. You can see here the Bluetooth connection, the battery life, and I charged it in the morning to 100%. I went for the GPS test, which was over one hour, and there is 93%. So the battery life on the smartwatch is amazing. And this was on display brightness maximum. So 14 days, it really depends on your use case. You easily get up eight days um, out of the smartwatch. You have here the screen on button, which leaves the screen on for five minutes. Really convenient if you're doing something you don't want that it turns off. You have find my phone. So you will hear the phone ringing in the background. I'm here. And let's stop the ringing and there we go. So um, if you're searching your phone, this comes in really handy. Um, we have the water drain mode. Now the watch is IP68 um, water resistant, so up to 30 meters. Um, that's why it also has this new um, diving mode and um, it's no problem to take it to the shower to take it to the swimming pool and also the titanium version is very corrosion resistant so that's really great but anyhow after you use it to get the water out of the speaker it's good to use the drain mode then let's quickly check out the settings so while it doesn't come with any kind of eSIM compatibility um, it's not like the watch 3 pro but it features bluetooth and you can also connect for instance to the free buds to um, listen to music so that's no problem at all you can customize the watch face. There's also an always on display. Now, um, to be honest, I don't use it um, because I don't need it really. But if you want to, there are several always on displays you can choose from. Um, I will just pick this one here to show you. And if you do this, you can actually just put it into standby kind of. And here you see the always on display. Of course, the always on display um, decreases your battery life, but um, still you get amazing battery life from the smartwatch. See a raise to show um, the watch this for instance if it is off you can just raise it and the screen goes on so this is also really really convenient then we have custom cards as we already know from the watch 3 pro um, under display and brightness you can adjust the brightness there's also an auto brightness sensor you can set the sleep time and the screen on time um, you have sound and vibration so you can adjust here the ringtone you can adjust the vibration level here currently strong soft or off and especially for using the alarm, I usually set it to strong because I really have problems to wake up in the morning. 
You can set a pin if you want to, it's just like a lock. You have the smart assistants as you can see in here with the AI tips. Accessibility options are also right over here. Then the down button, you can reconfigure it, so you can have it on workout like I have, or you can rebind it to any of the features here. Um, workout settings are also right over here, so workout broadcasts, you can turn this off if you want to, you can have the always on display during the workout, or it can also automatically detect your workout, so it will start the workout depending on your heart rate and activity you do, so the watch actually knows that you're currently doing a workout. There's also system and updates, so you can update your smartwatch right over here. I'm currently running the latest version, which is available right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And now let's jump right over to the menu. For sure, the smartwatch has all the features inside, which you have seen um, also on the Watch 3 Pro, like for instance, um, Huawei Wallet, so you can add your cards right over here. We have um, sleep monitoring right over here. We have lactate um, threshold measuring right over here, which is also a really cool and unique feature. Um, SPO2 monitoring as I've said before and um, also we have um, navigation and also we have a remote shutter which comes in quite handy if you want to take pictures with your smartphone and you have no one to take a picture and of course we have the music player right over here. So um, rotate the crown to adjust the volume as you can see with that you can adjust the volume and the speaker is also pretty loud it's located right over here. So the speaker is very clear even at maximum volume. It's not really to listen to music, for that you connect to FreeBuds, but it's basically to get um, some feedback um, during the workout and that is working really, really good. Also um, for the alarm clock, I really like it. Now the ECG function is something that's really special about this watch. So most of the smartwatches or those fitness trackers, they are more or less just um, measure your heart rate. But the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro has an ECG function built in. So it uses the heart rate um, sensor, but also it uses a high fidelity um, signal electrode in the button down here. So you have to put your finger on there and then it runs an ECG test. The whole test takes around 30 seconds and it shows you things about your cardio rhythm, like for instance, um, the sinus rhythm and it helps you basically to proactively address potential heart rate health risks. Now this doesn't replace a doctor but it's something that's really cool to have in a wearable device. So um, it has really evolved a lot from just basic heart rate monitoring to ECG function and I think it's a really cool feature. Alright, so that are basically the features on the smartwatch, so pretty amazing, waterproof, NFC, um, GPS with really good signal strength. I also went for a bike ride today and the tracking was really accurate, the GPS lock was really fast, the battery life only dropped a couple of percent in one hour, so quite efficient and it did the tracking really well. So let's check it out on the phone how it looks like. So well, let's have a closer look at Huawei Health. Now as you can see, this is currently a beta version because it includes already the ECG function and um, let's get directly started here with the tracking. So well over 100 workout mode so there's um, everything included. Now mo what I use most is like actually walking or cycling or maybe just running and today I went for an outdoor cycle so let's see how it looks like. Well you can directly see um, the tracking is fairly accurate. Exactly here when I turned to that road I forgot my phone so I had to um, drive all the way back to pick up the phone. Then um, I went up on the hill here for a nice ride and all the way back. So that looks really fairly accurate from what I see. So there are no like jumps or something or some missing route. You can see here also the average speed. So you have some graph, um, you have your charts over the heart rate. So the average heart rate, maximum heart rate and basically calculates um, from all of that data also how many calories you have burned, um, the average heart rate, the elevation gain as you can see and also even the recovery time until when you are fully recovered. So um, for tracking your workouts this watch is really really nice. Then if we come to the heart, um, here is um, something new. So usually you probably know from Huawei watches you have here the heart rate graph but here we now have the ECG data. So here you can see um, the sinus rhythm so um, the electrocardiogram is normal so that means um, everything is fine with my heart and here you can see my ECG and right over here um, this was what um, the watch has recorded so the average heart rate was 107 beats per minute and here you can even see um, an ECG diagram so that looks actually pretty sick. 
So really cool feature and I'm pretty sure um, this will improve a lot when they have um, the C certification ready and also the final software for it because just to mention it once again, this is a beta version. Anyhow, um, Huawei Health, I've shown you also many times, you have here your sleep records, your SpO2, skin temperature measurement, but let's go to devices here, it's kind of important. Um, you can see the GT3 Pro right over here. And um, let's talk about the watch faces. So um, there's a watch face store where you can get new watch faces. Some of them are free, for some of them you have to pay like one, two euros for the designers. And um, I think um, some of them it's really worth it because they have some really cool watch faces as you can see also from the smurfs or something so um, for some of the watch faces are also already paid now here we have also app gallery because the smartwatch supports third-party applications I will quickly show you how that looks like so if you press here it opens up the app gallery for the smartwatch and here are some pretty neat things like um, Philips Hue essentials for um, to control um, Philips Hue for instance then I am safe which is um, GPS tracking um, we also have here some other things which i really like this is for instance e-sound to stream music so it's really really cool that um, the gt3 pro supports third-party applications which you can install on the watch well regarding the other features you can also watch my other in-depth videos um, we have seen them all already and now let's come to my final conclusion about the gt3 pro all right guys, so we're now here at the end of this in-depth review and I could spend a whole week with the GT3 Pro and to be honest, it's a really amazing smartwatch. So the battery life is up to two weeks. Um, as I've told you, I went for a bike ride and it dropped only over the whole day um, around 5% with using GPS, the screen on a reasonable brightness. So this is a smartwatch where you don't have to think at night when you go to bed, oh, I need to um, plug it into the charger, I need to recharge it. With other smartwatches that, that have one or one and a half day of battery life, for me, actually, it's impossible to use sleep tracking. I'm the whole day active. I don't want to put my watch on the charger, forget it or something, and then at night it's empty and I, don't, I cannot use the sleep tracking. So this is something that's really nice about Huawei smartwatches. The battery life is simply amazing. Also, many people want to use the watch not only for sports tracking, they want to use it um, as a fashion accessory, like to go to business meetings, to go to, um, I don't know, if you go out on a date or something. And with the GT3 Pro, you can do all of that. I mean, it's waterproof, you can go diving with it, it's waterproof up to 30 meters and much, much more. Also on a smartwatch, at least for me, it's important that the charging time is fast. When you charge the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro, you can charge it for 10 minutes and you have battery life for a whole day. So even if you forget it um, to charge it before you go out, before you go to a meeting, 10 minutes on the charger, you have juice for the whole day. And this is what really makes it amazing. Alrighty guys, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment down below. And as always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'm signing out. Bye.